Remember the side chick wannabe who wrote the $5,000 check to help Benedict out of his financial misery and <laughs> the check became mine? Well, I found out more about her and found out that Sharon is a lawyer and she has her own law firm. Now, I couldn't allow this woman to just slip through my fingers. Lawyers are very expensive. They're very pricey. When you need them, it's very pricey. So I couldn't let her slip through my fingers. I had to find a way to befriend her. When we got close, I invited her over for dinner. Okay, we in the kitchen throwing it down. Why well, Mr. Hubby Man is at work? Because he worked a nine to five. He usually comes home before dinner. Okay, so I invited her over. She was off work, so we started cooking early. She's making macaroni and cheese, lasagna, apple pie, tomato pie, grape pie. She's making all kind of pies. And while she's making this other casserole, beef pork and turkey casserole, chicken casserole, I'm over here making palm butter and rice, fufu and soup. I'm making cassava leaf and tapagi. I'm making all kinds of stuff that we eat in Africa. So it's a combination of festival. You know, this is a, a brand new union of good friendship that needs to last. So the food is going to bring it together. And then we set the table with all our favorite wines. My favorite wine, uh, Mr. Hubby Man favorite wine, Miss Sharon's uh, favorite wine. We had everything with these fancy wine glasses. We had the table nice and set, and we wrapping things up in the kitchen. Here comes Mr. Hubby Man. Hey, babe, how was your day? My day was great. Guess what? What well, we have company. Company. Who's our company? I'm like, Sharon? Sharon? I've heard of no Sharon before. I said, Sharon is my friend. She's one of my newest friends. Uh, come on to the kitchen so you can meet Sharon. Okay. He comes to the kitchen when the both of them saw each other, they froze. I was like, is there a problem? I said, Benedict, this is Sharon. Sharon, this is Benedict. Benedict, it's my husband or whatever. He said, she said, you didn't tell me you had a husband. I said, yes, I do. It's just that <laughs> this love has kind of worn out. You know, there's nothing too excited about, exciting about it anymore. So I don't talk about it much. But when you do, then it's meant for you to meet him. But that's my husband, Benedict. Benedict, this is Sharon. Come on. What, what y'all waiting for? Is there, is there a problem? Oh, <laughs> no, I just didn't know we were going to have company. Benedict, you don't always tell me about your company. So please meet Sharon. He matched this, shook hands, and he said, you know what, I'm going to join y'all in the bed. Let me go relax myself. I just got off work. I said, don't relax too long. Dinner is, is served, and we're ready to throw down. So go change and come on out. When he went to the room, a few minutes later, he calls me. I go in there. He's like, what do you think you're doing? I was like, who are you to question me, Benedict? If, is any of this new to you? Is any of this new to you? Sharon wants to be your side chick, so you should know exactly what I'm doing. She's not my side chick, though. Oh, she wants to be. So if you don't want her, I want her. I'm going to draw her in until you're ready, you know, until you're ready. If you're never ready, then she's going to be a family friend. So don't be asked, don't be questioning me. But then you cannot just have a side chick for your benefit alone. If you're going to have a side chick, the side chick got to benefit the entire family, including the kids. So you know, you know what I'm about. Don't question me. And besides, you know this could benefit us in the long run. She's a lawyer. A lawyer? Oh, you didn't even know that? You didn't know that? Look at you. You didn't know that? You, you, you need to do your homework on the side checks and make sure the type of side checks you're getting, they're not, they're not like Felicia. Felicia is so broke, always begging for something. But Sharon is a lawyer with her own law firm. You know how expensive lawyers are, hmm? Just for, just for a small case, you got to pull $750 down. By the time they represent you, you are out of $1,500, okay? We're going to need her in the long run. Don't you dare ruin this for me. What you need to do is get out of your work clothes, put some nice sexy shorts on with your wife beater and your flip-flops. Come show them fit, pretty feet. Come show your pretty feet to her and your nice body. Come out smelling good and impress that woman, okay? Because we need to keep her in the family. My God, you're so selfish. Selfish? Selfish? On behalf of the family, you're the one who's selfish. Because when you get your side check, I got to jump through hoops doing my homework. So they, your, your side checks can become benefit to the entire family. You're the one who's self, who is selfish. I'm not. He was like, I don't know why. I don't know. I said, listen, you don't want me to intrude 
into your side checks and get whatever I need to get out of them for me or the entire family. Stop having side checks. But don't you ruin this for me. You need to change and get out there. Let's have dinner. And act like ain't nothing going on. How am I going to act like ain't nothing going on? You just took $5,000 from that lady and I had to back the both of us up so that it doesn't become a problem. I said, if you did that excellently, then you can just allow this friendship to go on without ruining it. Okay? Because you never know. I, I, I may need that woman the day we go through divorce. So this is for tomorrow. Oh, that's what you're trying to do? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, just in case. You know, I, I, I do everything for the future. You you just might be doing it for now because you want to you, you, you wanna release. But I don't want to release. I want to draw in and keep what's good for the family. Okay? So, just in case. We may need lawyer for many things other than just divorce. You know? You may have a traffic a violation. We may have all kinds of cases. We, we don't know. God forbid. But we need a lawyer. Every, everybody need a lawyer in this, in this country. So don't you ruin it for me. Come out there and behave yourself. Let's toast to this new union. Let's toast to this new family friend that you don't want to make side check. That, that Felicia, the broke Felicia you want to keep. You need to cut her loose and replace her with Sharon. 